Question number seven. What function does the second paragraph, lines 30 through 52, serve in the passage as a whole? So let's go back to that second passage and look at what is going on there. So this is when the sunshine grew strong and lasting, they're out in the sun, they've got buttercups, Silas is seen in the sunny midday or the late afternoon, they're strolling, they're out in nature, they're enjoying, um, Epi is calling Dad Dad's attention by bringing him flowers. Then we've got this sitting on the banks in this way, Silas began to look for the once familiar herbs again, and as the leaves with their unchanged outline and markings lay on his palm, there was a sense of crowding remembrances. So he's remembering the past by being out in nature with Epi. So we're looking for something that looks kind of like that. So, A, it presents the particular moment at which Silas realized that Epi was changing him. It highlights Silas's love for Epi by depicting the sacrifices that he makes for her. It illustrates the effect that Epi has on Silas by describing the interaction between them. Or D, it reveals a significant alteration in the relationship between Silas and Epi. So remember what we said was they're out in nature and then he starts remembering all of this stuff, right? C is exactly that, right? The effect that Epi has on Silas by describing the interaction between them. So this interaction, they're out in nature, she's bringing him things, she's showing him things, and he starts remembering stuff. Absolutely answer choice C. I know that A is wrong because it's not about a particular moment, right? It's sort of a, a general thing. It does not uh, talk about any sacrifices that Silas makes for Epi, and um, it doesn't reveal any sort of a significant alteration, right? There isn't a big change there in their relationship. There's a change in how Silas is feeling.